What's something that people turn into their whole personality? Smoking weed. Girl bosses MLM cult engages. And social media. Here in the Netherlands people who live in Amsterdam base their personality on Amsterdam. Zodiac signs. Like please shut up about it. Being a sports fan. Their preferred American political party. Their job. Harry Potter and I'm sick of pretending that a 45 year old woman running around saying she's a Hufflepuff is normal. Being a Yautaba. Gym fitness. Hair color. If I hear my co-worker talk about how natural redheads are or how you shouldn't mess with them use it as an excuse for a character tray, I'm gonna lose it. Being in the military. Loving Disney. Born again evangelicals. Conspiracy theorist. Open your eyes. Do your own research. Their own perceived persecution victimization. Being suppressed and personally attacked is who I am. Having kids. A religion. Like good for you but you look like a walking cliche. TikTok. Being a boy mom. Going to gym. Having a certain car. Being an entrepreneur. Investing in crypto. Being a vegan. Man, the list could just go on. Guns. Faking mental disorders. Gets annoying when a kid is faking Tourette's or did for the sake of attention. Driving a Tesla. Spending too much time on the internet. There's some people that every joke, every turn of phrase, every reference is just a meme. The equivalent of people that would quote lines from TV shows movies but it's more widespread. Yes, I'm talking to most of you. Sorry. MBTI. Being from the country. Like okay, we get it. Gender identity. Weed. You ever see a police officer's wife? It's crazy but they turn their entire existence into being a police spouse. It's very odd. I have two neighbors that are police. The younger the wife the more intense the alternate reality they create for themselves. The husbands never mention their profession but the wives can't shut up about it and try and prove how much they know about local law enforcement. Being bloody vegan. Being a dog mom or having a fur baby. Their sexual orientation. Crossfit. Owning guns. Disney adults. Horses. Anime. Their affiliation with the LGBT etc etc community. Being a mom. The thing people group idea they hate. When people really don't like something they center their dislike of it in their life. See for example skinheads, republicans, imbi neighbors, luddites, activists of almost any type, they fight what they are against more than they promote what they support because you don't need to be an activist for the status quo, gangs, etc. Bugger and similar fascist or pseudo-political ideologies. Being child free. Also being a mama bear. Being confidently incorrect. Being a fan Elon Musk. Mental illness, sexuality, gender, smoking weed. People who own geeps. Being gay. Harry Potter. Depression. Unfortunately. I'm not shaming anyone who does. It's easy to fall into and hard to get out of because it feels so normal that you don't know how to be happy anymore and the thought of change is kinda scary. That makes sense. I've been there and it sucks. Trump. Being petite. The word introvert. Hey guys, did you know I'm an introvert? Because yep, I sure am an introvert. Yep. Big time introvert right here. Hey, has two thumbs and is an introvert? This guy. Oh boy, I sure am an introvert. Did I tell you I'm an introvert? Yep. Introvert here. Absolute introvert. Oh, and as a reminder, I am an introvert. 
How do you know when you meet an introvert? Same way you know when you meet a New Yorker. Don't worry, they'll tell you. Crypto. Hating the popular thing. LGBT. Their sexuality. The generation they're born in. Religion. Being part of the LGBTQ plus community. Any immutable characteristic. You didn't work for it. They make it your whole personality. Make your personality about what you've accomplished, not how you happen to be born. Being pregnant. Being overworked and barely sleeping. Pickup trucks. There are people that happen to own pickup trucks, then there are people whose pickup truck owns them. We all know the type, floodlights, mutton tires, grill racks, lifted, splits paint with a wax, and optionally a diesel stack coming out of the bed, truck mutts, and a circle. I get it, print out business cards that tell people that you're a douche would be difficult to distribute on the highway at 70 miles per hour, but it might be more cost effective than your 100k dollars raptor. Being LGBTQ, especially the whole gender thing. Like, I consider myself non-binary but I also consider this aspect of mine fairly unimportant to be honest. It's a nice to know type of thing for myself but I don't ever feel the need to discuss it with other people. Because what are they going to say about it? Cool being non-cis or non-het is not nearly as interesting as some LGBTQ people believe it is. It's just one random aspect of someone's personality. There are many other aspects. For example I'm probably a HSP, highly sensitive person. But again, I don't see a point in mentioning this to other people because people who already know aren't going to treat me differently because of a label. They are know how I am act talk etc. And people who don't know me, yet, either don't matter or they'll find out about me over time. Their beard. As a guy with a beard it's annoying. Although it's not quite as bad as it was 5 years ago or so. We get it. You have a beard. Their faith or lack of faith. I've seen Christians become hyper-religious and force their beliefs on everyone around them and alternatively I've seen atheists become toxic and anyone who deters from their worldview even slightly is a complete moron. Let your beliefs be just that yours and not everyone else's. Music. I know some people who are so snobby about their music choices. Holly Davidson should be much higher. This will get buried, but some of these things become a person's entire personality because it consumes a majority of their life. Typically at a young age. Kids that saw active duty in Afghanistan, live at 24 hours a day, yeah, probably has a large influence on your personality. Woman with three small kids, raising them while her partner is absent, could be a deadbeat could be working 18 hours a day to support them, is gonna have a lot of anecdotes about motherhood. And being, some individuals choose not to grow. Some just don't get the opportunity to. Politicians they follow. Anime. I enjoy watching anime. But then I see other folks who spend a ton of money cosplaying random characters. Going to conventions and those multi-layered cosplays. They buy a ton of figurines. Posters, sword, flags, etc. I don't really find that annoying at all. Cause I have a bunch of jerseys, go to professional sporting events and I have like 3 posters. And I also play fantasy football in like 4 leagues. A league I've been in for a decade. Too many leagues and a charity league. I'm sure fantasy football will be listed here, so I get the passion. What I do find annoying is how they confuse their anime fanhood and convert it to Japan fanhood. Some go as far as thinking Japan is the greatest country and they want to move there. Like man. Sushi, ramen, a tempura is great but Japan is as flawed as most countries and maybe even more flawed than others. Their work-life balance is stupid. You often hear about how people work 20 hours days sometimes and die of exhaustion. It's adding onto a declining population. Japan's population declined from 128 mil in early 2010s to 120 mil. There's also high rates of depression and a lack of mental health care in Japan. People aren't as opening as you think they are too. 
But saying this is specific to Japan I'm just saying that in Japan isn't as open as you think it is like enjoy the anime. Scientologists. I'm in recovery and there are some people who make their entire personality being in the program. It's their entire life. I understand it for people who are new because some have literally had to change everything and they need recovery to be their life for a while in order to stay clean and stay alive. That's perfectly fine. But when you have 25 years clean and you still go to 6 meetings a week, go to every single event and your life entirely revolves around it, it might be time to maybe branch out a little. I've distanced myself from these people in the last few years. I stick to the few small meetings that these people don't frequent, call my sponsor when I need to and have a handful of close friends. Other than that, I have an entire life outside of recovery. I have other friends, hobbies and goals to achieve and don't really talk about recovery unless I'm asked about it. I feel this is healthier. Drugs. Drinking. Crossfit. Diet. Vegan paleoorthorexic etc. Edited to say mea culpa, when I first posted this I thought orthorexia was more of an annoying lifestyle choice and didn't realize it was a disorder. My apologies for trivializing it. Politics. Ugh. Jeeps. Religion. Ugh. Broness. Money. Image.